boxing fans. Thanks for joining me. Welcome. Got another update for you guys. Um, this one is George Groves versus Chris Eubank Jr. And this one is um super middleweight fight. So Groves is um Groves record is twenty seven and three. Um, with 20 KOs, Chris Eubanks um, is 26 and 1 with um, 20 KOs. So this one, um, I wanted to see how this one would turn out, and um, it, it it's really it's really a great fight because um, the things that I've seen Groves do in this fight, I haven't really seen him do in. Um, um, well, most of his fights, he he haven't really shown that to me. His boxing skills in this fight, I seen it um, from the first round. Um, so the first round um, started off he, he, uh, um, with Groves. Basically, he 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 used his feints. He used a lot of feints and, and his jab. He had a stiff jab, um, a sharp jab. Um, and, and it got in there. It was working for him. It worked. It worked. It worked. Um, it worked the first round. Um, it worked the second round. Um, it, it kept working. You know the the um, the thing with feints is you use the feints to get basically to to get your opponent um, off balance in some way. Um, so you, um, they won't be ready for for your punch, right? So it, it was masterful. Um, you guys have to watch a fight. It was masterful the way he did it. Um, and for Eubank Jr., he just didn't. Um, I don't know if that. I don't know. It it, it seemed to me like. Um. He, he just he, he just was brawling the the whole fight, and his punches were. Really, really wide. Um, he was just throwing a lot of wide punches. Um, he was throwing them so wide that. He was off balance almost every time he throw a punch. He was off balance to get countered. Um, he got countered. Yeah, he got countered uh, um, so, a few times in there. Groves countered him, and also with the wide punching, um, you know the straighter shot is gonna get there first. That's just how. That's just um. <clears throat> that's just how um. What I would say, science, or that's how the universe is, is set up, right? So if something is coming in looping and something is straight, then what's going to get there first? The straight is always going to get there first. So um, Groves was catching them coming in just by just because um, Eubank Jr. doesn't use his jab coming in. You see what I'm saying? So I was kind of surprised at that. I didn't. Um, I seen. I think I seen him fight one other time. He he wasn't. He didn't fight this way. So I mean, but like they say. Um, you're gonna fight each fighter in a different way so but I thought he would have been using um, angles more and his jab just the fundamental things you know what I mean um, a lot of the great fighters all they're doing is the fundamental stuff they're just doing the fundamentals really really well that's it it's not um, you don't have to be the best at everything but if you're um doing well at most things then you should be good at the fundamental things you should be good if you have a, 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 a if you can do um throw your jab well um and your defense is is well and you could box meaning you could move around the ring your 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 footwork is good then you should be a good fighter a great fighter you see what i'm saying so it's not a lot of stuff it's just the fundamentals because if you have the fundamentals, what will happen is you don't have to be the hardest puncher, but if your defense is good, then it doesn't matter if the other fighter is stronger than you. That won't matter because he'll be out of position most of the time because if your defense is good and you have your jab, that alone and your footwork, you'll be able to know how to move and get out the way and use the ankles so your opponent will be in trouble although he's stronger than you. You see what I'm saying? So it's not always the stronger fighter who wins, but it's always the smarter fighter who wins. You see what I'm saying? So, and you see all the great fighters. It's just it's because they're smart. They could they could 
um, they could um, adapt the quickest in the moment, right? So the quicker you could adapt, then you're gonna win the fight. It's that simple. And all the fights I've been watching years and years and years and years and years, it never changes, it's the same thing. The smarter fighter, the one that could adjust the best, the, uh, the quickest, not the best, the quickest in the fight, is gonna win the fight. It's that simple. Um, I've seen it a lot of times in a lot of fights. A fighter get hit with the same punch like three times in a row. And I'm like, wait, why didn't? Why is that happening? They're not. But what's happening? They're not adjusting. You see, what I'm saying, if you get hit with a punch one time, then it shouldn't hit you the second time. And if it hits you the second time, it sure shouldn't hit you the third time. You see, what I'm saying. So that's what it is. You have to adapt in there. You see, what I'm saying. I've seen fighters get. Um, they got knocked down maybe the first or second round, and for the whole, they went all twelve rounds because. They adapted. They didn't get hit with that punch again in the fight. You see what I'm saying? It's that simple. But this fight, Groves was... The key for him is just that. The boxing. Um, he stuck to the fundamentals. Boxing. It's not called um, brawling. It's called boxing, right? So that means you're supposed to hit. Use your defense. You're supposed to not get hit, right? So it's that simple. Um, and Groves, he did it an excellent job. Um... The first round to the 12th, he was doing the basic same things. He was using his feints to get Eubank Jr. out of position. In some way, you don't need to get him out of position by a lot. You just need to get the other person to react just enough so you could um, get in there. Remember, it's just, it's just split seconds for a punch to come in. It's speed, right? So it's quickly, you know what I mean? Not fast, quick. Because fast is too slow when it comes to quickness. Quickness is fast. Quickness is faster than fast, if that makes sense. You see what I'm saying? Quick is instant or, or almost instant, but fast is not there. You know what I mean? Fast wouldn't get there. So if you if I'm gonna compare that, I would compare fastness and quickness to how Eubank Jr. he's using he's um he's looping his punches and Groves is um shooting them straight. So the straight one is quick this is fast then if you want to compare it like that you see what i'm saying so um he was there man he was on point um he like i said eubank jr he was just man i don't know it was kind of i was just watching the fight and i'm like i was just surprised at the way he was just looping the punches and um just running in just um lunging in with the punches no he might have, I might have seen him throw maybe two or three jabs in the whole fight, man. And and then the jab wasn't really. I don't even know if that was a jab. Uh, um, he kind of just um threw it out there and have his and he had his head down. So I don't know what he was trying to do. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because if you um if you're fighting, you you're supposed to be looking at um your target in some way. But he threw he was holding his head down and he threw like like one of the jabs I seen him I could remember. And then most of the other punches also. He's lunging in, but he's holding his head down and he's looping the punches. So I don't see how, you know, but it shows that you can't be that accurate back up because you see he lost he lost that fight because just because of the fundamental things. It, it, it's so simple. So, so simple. It, it's so simple, but he didn't do those things. You know, the simple things, he didn't do them, and then that cost him the fight. Um, he felt like two times, I, I can remember, uh, uh, clearly he felt like two times in a fight, and that was, it wasn't from a, a Groves punch, it was just because he was off balance, like I said, he's throwing his punches, so, um, he's looping them, and that's what happens, if you loop your punches, then, and you don't hit nothing, a lot of times, you'll, you'll be out of position, you'll be off balance, and that's what was happening, that was, that's the whole thing in the fight, he was off balance almost every time he threw a punch, he was off balance, so I mean it's that simple. If you're off balance, then you're gonna mo yeah most likely you're gonna lose a fight because if your opponent is not off balance, then he's gonna counter you, right? And this if he's a professional boxer and this is they're in the professionals, this is prize fighting, so they're professionals. So um, if you think you're not gonna get hit in a professional um, arena, um, you know that's just not the way it is. So and then <laughs> in this fight. I don't, it, it just um, always is so interesting to, to, to see after you'd clearly seen that 
another fighter has won the fight, right? It's it's like it doesn't make sense for the fighter that lost the fight to have their hand up when they're reading the scorecards, or even after the fight when the bell rung, um, at the end of the bell and the bell rings, right at the end of the twelfth round or whatever, however many rounds the uh, a fight is. In this case, it was twelve. Um, you see the fighters hold their hands up, but for the fighter that know you lost, why did you put your hand up? You see what I'm saying? Putting your hand up is not going to make you win the fight, so why do that? And then when the judge is reading the scorecards, um, you have your hand up still. Why would you have your hand up if you know you didn't win the fight? You see what I'm saying? You've been doing, fighters been fighting, this is not their first fight. So in this fight, what it is, they're 27, fight, 27 and 3, so 30 fights and 27 fights. Uh, eat, um, each right so you see what I'm saying this is not new so if you if a fighter wins a fight or loses a fight they should know in their heart that they didn't win the fight you see what I'm saying so putting your hand up you're just fooling yourself you see so I mean but that's what it is you know um, that's just what it is but Groves won the fight um, unanimously it, 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 you know because I was going to see what the judges was going to say on the scorecards because I was like man he uh, he clearly won the fight um, it was easy, man. It, um, Eubank Jr. He, it's like he made it so easy for Groves because Groves wasn't. Groves is not the biggest puncher, but he didn't have to be the biggest puncher in the fight, and he still won the fight. You see, and um, Eubank Jr. is the bigger puncher in the fight, so you see what I'm saying. The stronger fighter is not that has nothing to do with winning a fight. So a lot of times they usually um say. This fight is going to get knocked out because his opponent is stronger, right? Or has a higher knockout ratio. But if the if the if the one if the fighter that they're saying is is not the strongest one, and but he has the better defense, then he should win. A lot of times he's going to win the fight because if the knockout artist fighter can't can't hit, get that knockout shot, then what else does he have? Can he adapt and win the fight another way? You see what I'm saying? So. It's a lot of things that goes into it. It's mostly mental. Do you see? So that um, Groves won that one. It was the judges. It was unanimous, but it was like 117, 112, 116, 112, 115, 113. That was the closest one on the scorecards. 115, 113. That was close because he might have won three rounds, I would say. Maybe four. I would say three. You know, the most that I would give him. Well, for the most, but I would say three. You know, um, for Eubank Jr. that he won. And then Groves, it was clearly for him, man. He won maybe the first three, four, five rounds. And maybe, yeah, he was just winning the rounds. And it's so easy but just because of the lack of... um. I don't even think it's focused because um, just the lack of discipline maybe or the lack of I don't know man ring generalship um the lack oh well okay here it is the lack of balance because like I said um Eubank Jr. there's no jabbing um working his way in with the jab there's no kind of footwork just a, 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 a just like this and running in basically the whole fight you know what I mean putting his head down and, and looping punches in that's basically it that's basically it. Um, and when he gets in close to Groves, he he put his um, head in his chest and he's just throwing looping punches over his head, you know. And then he do some uppercuts inside. But um, this championship fights, you don't win them like that, um, you know. So well, it depends on your opponent. But uh, for him to get better, he yeah, those things have to change because if they don't change, then whenever he gets the top fighters then the same results is, are going to keep happening right so but for Groves he's going up um he's going to fight for the Muhammad Ali um trophy I think they said so I don't know who he'll, who he'll fight next I'll uh, keep keep you guys updated and for Eubank Jr we'll see where he goes now he's now his record is 26 and 2 so Groves moves up to 28 and 3 so um, we'll see. You know, Groves been around. Yeah, I see. Groves been around a while. 
Um, he had some good fights in it. Um, he had some memorable fights. And this is another, well, this is a memorable one, but it, to me, it just wasn't really. It was just, man, I don't know. It was just. <laughs> It was just so funny. I was just man. I was just surprised at how how um amateur like it looked to me. Just man, just because of Eubank Junior's performance, you know. I'm like man, this, why is <laughs> it was just man. He was just throwing punches and off balance the whole fight. <laughs> And it's because of how he was looping, throwing the punches. That's the reason why he was off balance. No ring generalship, man. I mean, it's 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 crazy and interesting and amazing and funny all at the same time, man. Um, so I don't know, but Gross, he's a champ. He, um, I think it's for two belts, WBA, BA, and I think it's WBO. I'm not sure, uh, but he he got that one clearly, and um. Yeah, man. Um, that was a that was a, a good fight. Um, kind of hilarious. Um, but yeah, it's it's a good win for him, and we'll see what happens next for both fighters. And um, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Um, share the videos, like the videos, comment, and um, you know, until next time, man. Stay boxing. Don't get KO'd.